Glinty material appearance under sharp lighting can often be observed in the real world. Here is a video sequence of a black, injection molded plastic computer mouse lit by a small moving light source. The glinty highlight is composed of thousands of tiny reflections of the light source. Our goal is to simulate this phenomenon using high resolution normal maps. This is far from trivial since hitting the tiny reflections by randomly traced rays is extremely inefficient. We instead propose a completely different deterministic approach based on evaluating the true normal distribution function of each pixel. Please see the paper for details. The snail shell has a normal map made from fine procedural noise and is lit by nine point lights. Even though the features on the map are smaller than a pixel, the highlight is far from smooth, showing glint patterns over time. Here is a zoom of the snail, showing that our method indeed handles every single highlight correctly. Metallic paint is a material containing aluminum flakes embedded in an absorptive layer. We model the flakes using a normal map that is composed of cells, each having a fixed normal. We also added a clear coat and a diffuse lobe to simulate internal reflections. This scene shows a handheld energy drink blender with a bumpy plastic body and a brushed metal lid. For brushed metal, we generated a normal map with grooves and added fine scale noise to simulate tiny imperfections. Here is a zoom of the brushed metal revealing its structure with imperfections. This scene shows metallic cutlery with strong scratches from heavy use. We generated the scratches as randomly oriented, slightly blurred, line-shaped valleys. We then added dents through noise, like with the brushed metal before. Finally, we show our method applied to the ocean, with similar but much larger features than previous examples. Here we model the ocean as a single rectangle with a normal map generated using the FFT method. Note how our method can produce very sharp and correct glints even in the distance.